Hi everyone, it's time for Family Devotions with Pastor Karen. I hope you're doing well today. I'm thinking today about seeds and all the kinds of seeds that we might plant and hope that they take root and grow and become something much bigger and more beautiful. Of course, Jesus talked about having faith even the size of a tiny mustard seed and how that, through the work of the Holy Spirit, can continue to grow and flourish and become something really big. But today I'm thinking more in terms of seeds that people have planted within me. I can remember, believe it or not, being three years old and having the idea within me that God had made me for a special purpose, a particular purpose, and that I should seek that purpose all my life and do whatever it was that God was calling me to do. And I never lost that idea. It continued to grow in me and flourish in me so that even as I became a young adult, I continued to have this strong feeling that God had called me or was calling me to something particular. And that was my purpose in life. And that if I could find out what that calling was, I would be able to live out the purpose for my life and please God. And I'm sure that there was a Sunday school teacher or a nursery worker, my parents, my grandparents, probably a number of people, especially people in my church who planted that seed within me. And over the years as I grew and as I went to Sunday school and youth group and participated in my church community, that seed continued to be nurtured and it continued to grow within me. I wonder what seeds the first kids teachers, the weekday school teachers, the youth Sunday school teachers, the small group leaders might be planting within our children and our youth right now that over time may continue to be nurtured, might continue to grow and do something wonderful in each one of those children's lives. We all have the opportunity to plant seeds of encouragement, of God's love, of scripture, of faith, of uh, caring within other people, whether they're children or adults. And through the good work of the Holy Spirit, those seeds can continue to grow, sometimes unseen for a long time, and take deep root and begin to flourish within that person's life. What a wonderful opportunity we all have to be seed planters and to nurture other people. You may never know how that one little seed of encouragement or an idea about what God might be calling them to or how their life might be a blessing to others even one small idea like that or one word of encouragement or a scripture verse you're able to teach them or a Sunday school lesson you're able to share with them, that might just be the, the seed that really takes root and begins to grow within them and may completely shape or change their life. I hope you'll take every opportunity to do that and stop and give thanks for the people who planted such seeds in you as well. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for all the seeds of faith and encouragement and love and attention and special care that you have planted within each one of us through other people. Help us to recognize the opportunities we have every day to plant those good seeds in others. And we pray that you will nurture those seeds so that they become something beautiful in the lives of others. Amen. Thanks, friends. I'll see you soon.